Hi guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday. Um, and we don't have much plans for this many, many blah, 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 blah. we don't have any plans for this week. Um, it's going to be a hot week, pretty much all over the South this week. So we're staying inside for the most part. But yeah, um, let me put y'all down. Um, what I'm about to do is I'm about to wave my hair. I know I have not gotten my hair cut yet because I'm still undecided. I think what I'm going to do is curtain bangs. Okay. Curtain bangs and then face framing layers. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do like layers in the back or not. I'm going to get like a little bit, it's not really cut. I'm going to get a trim. That's where we're headed because honestly, I love my long hair. And yes, it's summer and yes, it's hot and all that. But when it's hot, I can just put my hair up. But like, you know, when it's not, I can have it all cute. And like if I have a style, like if I have a curtain bangs, I really do think I'm going to like it. So I bought this waiver because I saw someone on TikTok do her hair and oh my gosh it looks so amazing so i'm really 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 hoping that this stays you know because we have the issue with my hair not holding curl is it gonna hold wave i don't know it's naturally wavy so <laughs> we'll see though but um yesterday i did not vlog so i took the kids to the doctor's appointment they had their well check their yearly well check and Ava just happened to be not feeling well on sunday i gave her a covid test she came out negative and came out she has an ear infection so the doctor has her on antibiotics and she's just not feeling that great so i really just you know whenever my kids are sick especially if they don't have school or anything i just kind of like let them just rest because that's just what your body needs and if we don't need to go anywhere then i'm not going anywhere um, so yeah, I just want her to kind of like rest and really feel better. Uh, she's like very congested in her chest. It's starting to come up and loosen up today. So that's a really good sign. But yesterday I did do a Walmart grocery haul and I feel like I filmed something. Oh, and I also cut up my main, my mango, watermelon and pineapple. So let's go ahead and rewind and go back to yesterday and I can show you guys my grocery haul, my meal plan, like what I'm planning to eat for dinner, planning to make for dinner each night this week. And then we'll come back here and we'll do our hair together. Hey guys, so it is Monday. I'm gonna do a grocery haul real quick. Um, this is for the week. And I normally do mine on Wednesday, but we needed food again. So we went through our fruit pretty quickly. Um, I got Sprite and Orange Fanta for the kids. This is the rye bread that I've been eating. Uh, I have some pretty much every morning for breakfast. Walmart used to have their rye bread, but I guess they discontinued it. it I'm so disappointed because it's literally the best rye bread I've ever had, and it was so inexpensive. It was less than $2. So, so, so good, but this is the next best, I guess. It's Definitely more expensive, not as good, not as, I don't know, Walmart, their slices were so big and they were just so nice and soft and oh, it's just so good. Anyways, uh, Sprite Zero, they didn't have the cans, so I went ahead and I went for the bottles. I like to drink one of these at night with my dinner and uh, add some blue, what is that? It's like a blue mermaid, such something. I don't know, it's from Jordan Skinny Syrups. I uh, got... Two of these, we've been, I've, we've been eating a lot of sandwiches. So I got turkey breast and then smoked turkey breast. Really the reason why I got both of them is because of the fact that usually it's been out of stock. So I picked both smoked and just the regular, just in case, you know, one was, but this day they were, they were both in stock. The only thing, surprise, surprise, they did not have in stock was cherries. So I'm going to have to go get cherries from somewhere. But needed some salted butter. So we got that. We got four mangoes. I needed some more of my Simply Light Lemonade. I mixed this with tea. It's delicious. And I got some pink lady apples. I'm going to show you guys 
I do, I've been doing apple nachos lately. Oh, so good. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. But it's been so delicious. This is the only meat that I have. I have some leftovers and then I still have some ground beef leftover from last week that I'm going to use tomorrow. So yeah, we just need one thing of ground beef and then I've got some chicken that I'm going to cook. I'm going to I'm going to show you guys all what we're going to have. We've got some sauce, some sauce. <laughs> I like you say that. Um, watermelon. We're gonna do some egg rolls. So we got some egg roll wrappers. I liked I, I, y'all. I can't with cooking bacon. No, absolutely not. It splatters. It do it in the oven. It makes a mess. It's just I don't like it. I don't like the mess. I don't like the cleanup. I don't like the splatters. So I just get it fully cooked, and it tastes just as good. And I mean to disagree i'm sure you probably some of you probably would disagree but i mean i love me some real good bacon that's cooked from but i don't like cooking it so i just get it that way uh this actually what is this and then this because my daughter needed those she's sick my poor baby i took them to the daughter today and it was just for a well check but it just so happened that she got sick on saturday so we actually didn't do anything this weekend so yeah, and I just took them to the daughter. And I've just been babysitting her today, you know, making sure she's okay, making sure she's got everything she needs. And she needs some more, um, what are these? Kleenex. So I got those. And then we also needed some dish detergent tablets for the dishwasher. Y'all, what's up with this? I thought this used to be like 30, cal was it 30 calories? I just used mine up the other day, so I don't have it in the fridge anymore to compare, but this now has 50 calories. It says it's tastier, but I'm like, I'm intrigued. Was, was it 30 calories, y'all? I'll have to look. My fitness pal will, will show, but anyways, I got some Bolt House Classic Ranch dressing. Bolt House, I mean, it's always been good, so I mean, if tastier, heck yeah, I'll take it. They smushed my rolls, but it's fine. It's whatever. Um, I'm going to do hamburgers this week. So I got some brioche buns. I got this so I can romanticize my life and look like I'm drinking wine, even though I'm not. And it's only five calories. So I got that. I've actually had that before. It's really good. And if y'all saw last week, I did my little tea, uh, concoction that I love. So it was the raspberry. So I had to get, and I had to get a pack Oh my gosh, I can't talk y'all. I was literally about to fall asleep over there. I'm so freaking tired. I got some dill pickles. I'm not really a big pickle girl. Any, If anything, I like the bread and butter pickles. But the one of the recipes calls for some of this juice. So, I mean, I'll eat them. But they're not my fave, to be honest. Two pineapple and some eggs. And that's everything. I will show you my meal plan for the week. Okay, so I did not get to this from last week because we had some leftovers. So I'm gonna make this skinny taste cheeseburger casserole. We're gonna do burgers with roasted potatoes. I got a cookbook from the library from Skinny Taste. And you can also look that up. I'll link that down below in the description box because it's you can find this recipe online too. But it's cheeseburger egg rolls. I am so freaking excited for that. And then I have chicken thighs in there and I'll just make some mashed potatoes, which I actually have mashed potatoes in there and then veggie. And then I have pasta with my homemade sauce that I have in the freezer. So that's basically, I really only had to get one thing of meat this, this week, which made my grocery bill a little bit lower. But the fact that I had to replace that, you know, it's always something. If you're not buying a bunch of meat and like you can cut costs that way then that's when you're running out of like all the other things so i'm gonna go put these groceries up i am also going to cut up the pineapple my watermelon that's what i really want i want you right now um we still have a few mango left so i'm probably gonna leave those but i'm gonna cut up some fruit too and that's gonna do it for monday But I can't see if you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess 
And you tell me to confess And you tell me to confess Oh I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see This is nothing in real life, it might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us, save us Because you're acting like a volcano And make me feel outrageous You keep teasing me But you're nothing I would have Running fast, never look back Now we're over, that's a fact Blazing light, see it all bright You will never ride Back to life, apologize Too soon to say I'm fine Too soon to say I'm fine Oh I don't know what to say, what to do How to make you see This is nothing in real life It might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're acting like a volcano Tending to be my savior Nothing you do can save us, save us Because you're acting like a volcano And make me feel outrageous You keep teasing me But you're nothing I would have made Like a volcano Tending to be my savior Okay, so I'm telling y'all, if y'all have not gotten those little contraptions for the fruits, it's, it's such a life changer. Like I'm just, I'm just a sucker for those kind of things and anything that can make my life easier and things go quicker. And I'm, I've been way more prone to eating fruits because it's already cut up and it, it just, it just makes it, it just makes life so much easier. So I got this thing from Amazon. I will link it down below. I think it was like a 32 millimeter. Because it's it's a it's very large. Like it, it's huge. And it's so pretty. Do y'all love that pretty pink? It came with a glove. I'm going to go ahead and put the glove on because I've never used a waiver before. Well, I did actually have a waiver a long time ago. So what I need, I'm gonna hold it. So yeah, I would need it for this. Okay, um, also I spent a little extra time on my makeup today because I have been, because Ava's been sick, I've been so bored. But do y'all see, y'all see, oh, oh, don't, don't look at that. Don't look at that gray hair. But do you see how my hair is like naturally wavy? So like the top, I went ahead and I blow dried the top last night after I washed it because I wanted a little bit of volume up there and it would have looked it would have it would have looked really crazy this morning if I didn't do that but I just literally left the rest of my hair to just air dry and so the rest of it has its natural wave but I'm gonna go ahead and take this mousse and I will link this on below as well and since I feel like it did a really good job with holding my curl last week I'm gonna go ahead and put this on too my hair is not dirty I just washed it last night so usually it's best to do these kind of styles with dirty hair but girl that's what this is for so uh yeah this smells really good too um so I got out this morning it was a storming I woke up to a storm it was like a legit storming storming and um it came into my room to give me Bella because Bella does not do well in thunderstorms and I laid here with her for a little bit and then um, I got up I made breakfast and I went to the gym and I worked out and it was amazing I actually did okay so I joined uh oh I joined the booty army membership which is the fitness marshal and I've been doing that but I'm just like I love him okay I love him I love his his dancers. Oh my gosh! Like follow all of them on Instagram. Love 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 them so much. They're they're all so incredibly talented. 
But, ooh, ooh, hold on. Okay. But I don't love the music. I don't love the music. And I find myself being like, oh, let me go ahead and fast forward. And I just, I feel like I just don't get that good of a workout. So this morning I was like, you know what? Let me try something else. And y'all know, I talked about it a million times. I used to do this work, work. I used to do this dance call class called work W E R Q. And they have a membership for five freaking dollars a month. And so I was like, let me do this one. And so, isn't that so pretty? The top didn't get, didn't, didn't do so well. Let's do this again. But um, I signed up for it. It's a 14 day trial. And I don't know how it's, I don't think it's doing so hot on the top of my head. I don't know, I don't know if I like this. I mean, it's one piece, Jill, stop. <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, so I go down to the gym and I'm doing it. <gasps> Y'all, I had so much fun. Oh, it was so much fun. I had a blast. There was a couple of songs that were in her playlist that I danced to. So I knew and I, I just got a really good workout in. And it was fun and I was like smiling and like yes and I felt like I could do the dance moves and I don't know you know I take it I had taken the class for like two years so even the songs I didn't know I kind of still felt like I knew what I was doing so I think I might do that and then I ended up doing an arm workout after but what are we thinking I don't know y'all I don't know I feel like it's not deep enough Ah, did I, did I not? This is not going to do it because, all right, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, is there any difference between the two? Cause this is my natural wave and then this is what this thing, this little tool just did. I don't know. But, um, anyways, so I worked out this morning and then I also did arms, which was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I've been working out, getting my work on and it feels so good and yeah that's really all i've been doing today though i am going to organize go through my clothes today because um y'all wait i have so many clothes in perfect example of like my problem and my issue it's this <sighs> I was already, I had already started going through a couple of the clothes and I was like, but like, what if I'm dating someone this holiday season and I need a fancy dress because we have somewhere really special to go. Like I can't get rid of this dress. I mean, it is a really beautiful dress and I do remember it looks really good on me, but like, this is going to be me all day long with these clothes. Like, oh my gosh, what if this happens or... So we'll see if I actually like get rid of clothes or if I'm just going to go through them because I have nothing else to do. I don't know, but we're going to do that together too. But I'm just going to go ahead, keep doing this, put on some music and I will see you guys when it's all done. And hopefully it looks like something. Hopefully it looks like something cute. So what are we thinking? Um, it's kind of cute. I kind of did a little twist in my hair right here and kind of pinned it back with some bobby pins, which I can't seem to find. I was able to find four, thank God, but I swear to you, you guys, I swear that I literally see them every day, but when I go to look for them, I can't find them. I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever, but I'm going to show you the back. I really like the way that front, the front looks with my hair kind of pulled back like that. I like that. I like that a lot, but, um, I mean, it's not like a huge difference. Like you, if, it barely even looks like there's anything going on right here. This is what I like the most. I like this going on, but that's it. I don't really think that it did 
much at all to my hair. And I don't think it's because I have naturally wavy hair. I think it's because my hair is a POS and it just does not want to do anything that you do to it except straighten and become straight. That's the only thing my hair seems to like to do. <sighs> so yeah, I don't know if I'm actually gonna keep this thing, but it's so, it was so pretty. And I was going in between like doing larger sections, smaller sections, holding it backwards, holding it up. I did all kinds of things, thicker, smaller, longer, shorter. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> forget everything I just said why did it not look like that when I just saw it I don't know how I like this though still what are we thinking let me know in the comments down below I don't know if I should keep it I like I said I really like this let me know what y'all think in the comments down below I don't know I'm gonna go ask my kids and see what they think hold up hold up hold up let's see what these kiddos say by the way, I was romanticizing life today. I got this, it was it was not this dirty, okay? Those, those are my fingerprints, those are my fingerprints. Um, I got some five calorie diet cranberry juice and then I added my sugar-free Jordan's skinny syrups. I added the raspberry, perfection. And then I also added a little bit of the blue after the Little Mermaid one, after um, I was drinking on the raspberry one a little bit and I was like, this is amazing. What do you think about my hair? I like it. Does it look any different than my normal? Mm-hmm. It's, it's like wavy and like each strand, I guess. Uh-huh. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Does it look really pretty or is it yeah, like it looks good. Do you think I should keep it? Like do you think I should wear it like this every day? If you want to. <laughs> I don't you want to. It's kinda like however you wanna do it. Okay. I like your hair. Thank you. Whatever, you are not asleep. Do you like my hair? Is it really pretty? Does it look any different than what it normally does? Like a lot different? Uh huh, that would look more crinkled. Crinkled? Can you get my extra permission? Yeah, should I, do the, should I do it like this every day? No. Because you don't like it that much, do you? Not as much. <gasps> I don't really like that much either. All right, I'll be right back. Well, I finished the inside, but now I have to do so the... So yeah, Ava's like, Control's like, hmm, it's really pretty. Okay, so this right here, this is the dress, by the way. I like pull it out. Oh, my camera is about to die, y'all, my battery. I'm gonna need to buy extra batteries for this thing. Anyways, what I plan on doing, it's boring for you guys to see that anyways. So this was the dress that I was like, oh, but what if I have somewhere to go this, this, this holiday season? I'm gonna hate that I gave away that dress. So I'm just gonna go through all of this stuff. Maybe I'll get rid of stuff, maybe I won't. I don't, I don't know, I don't even know what's in here. So um, yeah, let's see it dwindle down, hopefully. And I'll show you guys what like the different piles because obviously I'm going to do a donate pile and then a keep pile so let's see what we can do while this battery charges okay I'm doing really good actually you guys I'm letting all of this go I still have this entire bin to do but this is what I'm keeping these right here I feel like I'm really close to fitting into so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my exercise or my like workout gear drawer but look what I just found. Oh, do you remember this, you guys? Oh, I cannot wait to fit in this shirt. I literally like took it out of, it was in that little bin and I started screaming. I was like, oh my God, I forgot about that shirt. 
so yeah hey Sean hey so I'm I cannot I cannot wait let me show you by the way I saw Sean let's say I met him but I didn't I was trying to play like I met him <laughs> let me show you the picture that I had taken but he's on a billboard at the, in front of the Tommy Hilfiger store and I was like I was walking by and I was like wait a minute he looks so good too so anyways I had to show you all this because memories all right, let me get back to work. So I didn't realize I didn't update you guys, but this entire bag is full of clothes that I'm donating. And let me show you what I have left. So this bin right here, if you can see, it is full of clothes. And that's all I have left. I think I did really good. This was my goal. I did not think I was gonna do it. So yay me. Hey y'all, so it is Wednesday. I apologize. I know I really haven't been vlogging at all this week. Ava's been sick. She's still not feeling that great. Um, so we haven't really been doing anything because I need her to rest and kind of get better and whatnot. So I've just been kind of chilling. We were going to go to the mall today, but then I was like, I woke up not feeling... I was I just woke up feeling very drained and very tired and she woke up feeling really bad anyway so it wouldn't have worked out for us to go to the mall today anyway so I've honestly just been resting um I might film my dinner tonight because I'm like I know y'all enjoy that but then I also am like I don't have much content for this week I know I was supposed to, by the way my hair y'all my hair <clears throat> I swear, I'm giving up. I, I, I'm, I'm, don't laugh. Don't laugh, y'all. <laughs> I was sitting there and I was done with my hair and I was like, literally like in, like, no, like I was holding back tears and I'm like, why am I about to cry? Am I legitimately about to cry because my hair is ridiculous and it doesn't hold curl and I can't do anything with it and I want to do stuff with my hair and I can't? I don't know. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings going on. If you guys don't know, I'm a food addict and um, I am restricting, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm having to feel these feelings and I don't have, you know, before in the past I was a smoker. I haven't smoked in a year and a half. And so before in the past, you know, when I was not eating, you know, I've definitely put on considerable amount of weight since I quit smoking. But yeah, like I don't have cigarettes to go to. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have food. Um, you know, so anyways, I, I have been a little bit more emotional lately. But it's just so working through the through the emotions and what not by the way i just showed this on my weight loss channel so if y'all are subscribed over there no you're not seeing a double clip i promise <laughs> how are you feeling um better than I do that's good i hope you feel good tomorrow are you picking up trash or are you no i'm just huh oh, okay yeah. I would say you can make some, but yeah, we don't have crackers. There's certain things we just can't have in the house. I'm actually going to make a charcuterie board next week. Um, but I'm only going to get one package of crackers, and I am limiting myself, and then it's only going to be in the house for like a day. <laughs> Uh, cause that's going to be our dinner. But, uh, yeah, if you are subscribed to my weight loss channel, you may have already seen me do this, but I wanted to give you guys this a tip too, for like saving some money. So for me, I have to do this because I, I can't be controlled around one of these. I don't know what it is. If this hits my pantry, it's just like all bets are off and I'm just eating it all. So what I did was I tried to find the little snack bags. And when I realized that there were none for me to buy, hold on, I'm gonna go get these some kids. So anyways, save money, or if you're like me and you have no self-control, wait a minute, this said 15 servings. 
And that was not my 15 servings. I literally weighed every single bag out to an exact ounce. This one's gonna be a little more, what do you call it? Crummy, but that's okay. Um, so, yeah, save some money. I can't, I'm not gonna say I can't. It's harder for me to exercise control when things like that are in my home, but I am most successful on a weight loss journey when I get the noise of what you should be eating and what you should be doing on a weight loss journey in order to lose weight out of my head. And I truly follow what's in my gut and what I know works for me, which is complete moderation. Like I literally eat a bag of chips every single day. And that works for me. So not everyone agrees with that. And you know what? That's fine. That's none of my business. What works for you is none of my business. I'm just sharing what works for me. So and I don't say that in a mean way. It's just people can be really cruel about weight loss and food and what you should and shouldn't be doing. So I mean no disrespect in that. But to save some money, buy you a bag of, you know, even you could even do a variety because I'm going to be honest, when you get the variety packs, a lot of times we always end up having extra of chips that we don't like. So that's why I just was like, you know, what? I'm just going to buy some snack bags. And as soon as I bring it into my home, I'm going to immediately go ahead and measure all of them out. So that way I have all of my little baggies. So that way not only am I saving money, but I'm also able to get my favorite chip. But you also save money. You buy the thing and then you buy little snack bags and you just do the measuring. And it takes a little bit of extra work and a little bit of extra time, but it's no biggie. Let me count this. Maybe I miscounted the bags. It was supposed to be 15 servings in that. One, two, three, four. Contrell had one. One, two, three, four. So he had five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I mean, I did give Ava the crumbs, but maybe the crumbs added up to, to an ounce. I don't know. But yeah, this is a little tip for you guys. And by the way, if you've never had a sandwich with Cool Ranch Doritos, you are missing out. And you need to try it ASAP. Hey guys, happy Thursday. We're going to the mall today. And I put this little number on... But then I saw on TikTok, someone had this same exact shirt and she was talking about how like, how do I always go to dressing like a 20 year old? And you know, I'm like, I thought this was kind of cute. Like I was like, ooh, and I feel really good in it. Like, you know, like, you know, I don't, I don't look pregnant. Um, it doesn't accentuate my stomach. It kind of, kind of hides it a little bit. Like we're loving that. Super cute, kind of sexy. The back is a little see-through that has like the crisscross. Like I just think it's so freaking cute. But now ever since seeing that TikTok, I can't unthink that this is too young for me to be wearing. And I'm not that person. I'm not, like I tell y'all all the time, like there are no age limits. If you look on the tags of your clothes, it does not say for ages eight to 10, or for ages 21 to 29, it, it doesn't say that, you know? So why do we automatically think that like, but now it's in my head, now I'm going out here thinking <laughs> that I'm a 21 year old, knowing that damn well I'm not, even though I am 29, you know, not too far off. Um, so this is something I did not want to talk about, but I'm going to because I don't know how much attention y'all actually pay, but I pay big attention to it. So, um, the snap on veneers, I can't, I can't keep wearing them because they're messing up my teeth and I need to go to a dentist and dentists are expensive. So... I need to figure that out, but in the meantime, I think I'm just gonna go whiten my teeth. And where my tooth is missing, I will wear, but it's it's messing up my teeth and creating cavities. And this was something that I did not think would happen. I mean, they do warn you that you if you have 
stuff already going on in your mouth to not go forward. So I just wanted to put that out there because I'm like, I, this has been happening for like over a month now, but I'm like, oh, but I'm on camera and I don't want to like not use them because I just, I feel so. I feel so much more confident in them. I just do. I do, I do, I do, but then I also have to realize that <laughs> health or looks. And they're just, it's speeding up the process of, of my mouth and, and what's going on in, in like cavities and stuff. And I need to go get it done. I'm scared to death of the dentist, but I'm also scared to death of the bill of the dentist and what that's gonna cost me. You know, I've been doing so good on my weight loss journey. If you guys want to know more about that, link is down below. Go follow me over on my weight loss journey. It is taking weight off. And if you guys did not know, if you were following me and then I stopped, it took a break. I needed that well-needed break. But I'm posting over there. I also post every single day on TikTok. I'm posting how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. So if you guys are interested in following me over there, it's Miss Green Eyes 15. That's also linked down below. But I do a lot of like in-depth day to day, how I'm feeling, what I'm doing, if you guys are interested in that. So I'm trying to like break up the the material so you get something different on every, you know, so you're not basically getting the same thing on every, so there's no point in you following my weight loss journey because I'm talking about it here. There's no point in you following me on TikTok because you see everything, you know what I mean? So like everything, you're going to get something different. So like over on my You'll probably you'll see you'll probably see workouts here too here and there, but you will definitely every day that I work out you'll see workouts. So if you want some make uh, not makeup, if you want some workout inspiration, if you're interested in seeing me go live and do get ready with me's, that's where I will be doing them over on TikTok. So make sure you go follow me over there, and I will see you guys sometime throughout the day. I don't know. I might take. I'm not gonna take this to the mall, but I might take my. Um, I mean, I'm, I might take some footage on my phone. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. deliciousness I personally want this one but that's the one that Ava got doesn't that one look so good and then this one is the Twix one this one is just a regular chocolate chip that looks good and then this one we are going to share so share Contrell mine Ava's oh so excited they smell incredible have y'all tried crumble cookies before I've never tried them, so this will be our first time. But I'll let you guys know we're gonna eat some lunch first. Um, actually, I'm gonna do a haul for you guys real quick. It's only two things, but let me show you that real quick. Okay, so really the only reason why I got something from Sephora was because I had a gift card. I wanted to try this Fenty Skin Butter, Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. 
smells really good. Like, I didn't want to test it in the store because, you know, so hopefully, but oh my, oh my gosh. It looks like it's gonna, yeah, wow. Whoa. Y'all, like my skin, like that is soft. Ouch. And it also is supposed to like leave this like nice healthy glow on your skin. Uh, this might be my new favorite lotion for sure. I know that they sell um, like a little refill too, which is like only a few dollars cheaper, but this is expensive, but I like it a lot better than the stuff that I took back um, a couple months ago. So anyways, I don't know if I told y'all, but y'all know I'm like having problems. Like I'm not a very outgoing person. I'm very shy, reserved to myself, but I see people all the time with Bill's stuff on and I'm like, they're from Buffalo, but I never go because I'm like such a wuss. So I'm like, well, maybe if I wear the Buffalo stuff, maybe people will come up to me and be like, oh my gosh, are you from Buffalo? So I'm not a big Bills fan, so I didn't want to get anything. I mean, I could have gotten Bill stuff. It doesn't matter. It's whatever. But that's the reason why I got this, because you can tell it's Bills, but that obviously is New York. And y'all know, I, wear, I can't take this one off because I have a bun, but I wear hats all the time. So it's going to be perfect. So I got this, and I also got a couple of, um, dang, my watch is picking this up as exercise, okay. Uh, it's, it's hot, it's so hot. My kids were like so ready to go, which is so unlike them at the mall. Um, but it's just, it's so, it's miserably hot out there. I don't, I don't even know what the feel like is, but it's, it's the fact that it was mild for like a couple of weeks and then it was just like, bam, just complete heat wave hot. Oh, it's miserable out there. That's why I didn't wear any makeup today. I was like, for what? I feel like I'm gonna go this whole summer without wearing makeup if I go somewhere because it's like, for what? Especially during the day, for what? Um, but anyways, I have a couple of tank tops that I ordered from Amazon coming that say Buffalo, New York as well. So whenever I get those, I'm fingers crossed hoping that they fit. I took the measurements and I measured it up to a couple of shirts because that's all they did was like the measurement of the shirt. So I just measured it next to a couple of my shirts and one of my shirts that I can fit in It'll be, it'll be like tight. It's not going to be like a flowy kind of tank top, but it's whatever, hopefully. But I will try that on whenever I get that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make lunch. Then I'm going to try my crumble cookie. I'm excited for it, y'all. I'm so excited for it. Y'all, I just had the crumble cookie. So I had the Twix, and it's good. But I also had a bite of that Reese's peanut butter cup. That's the best cookie I've ever had in my life. Best cookie I've ever had in my life. How often, do y'all know how crumble cookie works? How often do they have the flavors that I just had a choice from? How often do they have the peanut butter cup? That's all I wanna know, that's all I wanna know. I'm like, I don't wanna try anything else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but seriously, that was best cookie I've ever had in my life and like I, said that when I ate the Twix, I was like, mm, best cookie I've ever had in my life. And then I had hers and I was like, oh, th is that inside? Okay, it's a wasp. So we just had like one of probably the worst storms. I will definitely the worst storms I've been in a really, really long time. Um, our power has been out. You say it's been out for about an hour? Since three. Three? Like 3.30. Seriously? Dang. Okay, it's been out since 3.30, he said, and it's now 6 o'clock. I'm just like, um... Well, maybe 4, because I remember it was like at 3 when it started storming. Or no, it started getting really dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, it looks like it's 8 o'clock. And then it started to rain real bad, and I think the latest I remember it being was 3.30, so I would say probably 4. Yeah. Well, I mean, the light 
the light stands out there, they were like shaking. I don't know how many times I saw lightning. I mean, I was literally legit getting scared. I was on my bed, I was editing, and I mean, just lightning after lightning, and it's like, you know, oh, it was, it was, it was, it was crazy. And then the rain, how heavy it was, it got super windy. That pole right there, the light pole, was like swaying all the trees. I was like, oh my goodness. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's still thundering. I'm still like, my, my phone keeps going off, like saying we're still have like thunderstorm warnings and there's more storms out there. It's crazy. So yeah, but they don't expect the power to be back on until like close to like nine or so. So mm. I don't know, but I had to come update y'all with that because that was crazy. That was so crazy. Y'all, it's 821. We had to go get dinner. Um, let me see. There we go. That's good. We had to go get dinner from Publix and they literally didn't have anything I wanted. I'm gonna go eat, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. They got delicious fried chicken. I didn't get that. I gotta stay on track though. Um, I'm gonna, can you, can you show, can you find mine or can I see mine? Huh? My salad, I, I really didn't want it. There's, and it smells so good. There smells so good. I got this Caesar salad again. I really didn't want it, but I also didn't want a sandwich. Look what they got. They got fried chicken. <laughs> I'm like, I know that would have put me way over my calorie range. So that's why we're sticking with the salad, but kind of jealous. I'm not gonna lie, but um, yeah. It's getting a little warm in here, I'm not gonna lie. It's getting a little warm in here. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it comes on pretty in a in a little bit, but um, yeah. Oh, we're having a candlelit dinner. Come join us in our candlelit dinner. Oh. Candlelit dinner date with my daughter, wherever she is, and my son. This is a date. It's romantic. We're having us a romantic dinner. Maybe it would have been romantic like 50 years ago. This is still romantic. When there actually wasn't internet or oh, these kids, I tell you what, I they've been going crazy without their phone. Saying. Let me let me charge my phone on my are y'all kidding me? That was Ava. No, that was you too. You can't say it wasn't because it was you. So yeah, they were going crazy without their phones. I couldn't go without my phone. Uh, I was reading and now he's, you, you were literally like, what are we going to do now that we don't have any, we're not, like, it's going to be dark as there. I didn't say that. I'm used to that. We're not going to have any, um, oh, that's the trash that just, that's coming. We don't have any, um. What's it called? Okay, look, you can't tell me this does not look romantic. I know the kids, I'm like trying to explain them. So like if you have, you were on a date and it was uh, it was like this, would this not be romantic? And they were like, oh, well, yeah. I'm like, well, this is a romantic setting. That's what I was trying to tell them. And then you got the little wine glass. Ooh, girl, I'm about to get tore up on my Sprite Zero. Can you get me a wine glass to put my fancy <laughs> Sure, in? you want one too? You already know how I am. <laughs> oh yeah, she breaks them. I mean, you can, but... <laughs> but you're sitting there, so you shouldn't. You probably won't break it. But if it does get broken... It's okay. <laughs> okay, we're all gonna we're all gonna romanticize life right now and go, I'm gonna get them a wine glass for their orange Fanta. <laughs> like, these are, these are like uh, red wine glasses picture. right here. Oh, Look at that. Oh, it's a good picture. It's what we got. I actually am enjoying this, y'all. I'm not gonna lie because these two aren't really on their phones. I mean, she just got on her phone. She's like pictures. looking at pictures. But like, we're actually like having fam, like fun family time. Not that we don't a lot, but you know. Anyways, I'm gonna turn this thing off so I can get back to enjoying my family. <laughs> okay, cheers. The night the lights went out.
Oh wait, I didn't get yours. Oh, okay. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> okay, it's 10.09. We literally just got our power back. Y'all, I went, I was like going, cause I didn't think about the fact that the food, I didn't think to see how long this stuff would last, right? With the power being off. Ooh. And it said four hours. And so um, I was like, crap, we need to go get ice. And I have this like massive cooler right here. I mean, it is like massive. We'll put this in here because we're gonna keep this ice. Um, so anyways, we're like unpacking the refrigerator as the power comes back on. And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I mean, this was a little longer, like everything I, well, I only Googled and I read one article. It said uh, four hours and it was definitely a little longer than four hours, but everything was still cold. So I feel like we're going to be okay. I feel like everything's going to be okay. Um, but yeah, like I had to go from gas station to gas station because all the gas stations were out. I didn't even think we, ha when we went to go to Publix, I didn't even think of any of that so anyways thank god we have it we were without power for like about six hours it was crazy um and it was crazy driving it is like obviously pitch black out there so i hope that all of you are safe in this crazy storm too i don't know how far it went but <sighs> Things back on it was starting to get a little hot too and i'm like it's gonna be like 100 plus degrees tomorrow it's gonna be so freaking hot in here we're gonna have to go somewhere if we still don't have any power but everything's good so that was our super eventful thursday night that we did not plan on having but it was it was kind of fun though i mean you know it was something a little different we got to spend some quality time. We played Trouble. We were about to play Uno, and then that's when I realized, oh, crap, we need to go get some ice. So, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm supposed to be going to get my hair cut tomorrow. We'll see if I do or not, but, yeah, I'll see you then. So, y'all, it's 1.34 in the morning, right? And I'm sitting here. My video is exporting, okay? It's been exporting for two hours, and I'm, like, I'm staying up for it. I'm ready for it. I'm waiting for it and the power goes out yet again. Which means everything on my computer and my external hard drive disconnects. Why my external hard drive disconnects when the internet goes out or when the power goes out, I don't know. But it did and I've been up for the past two hours fighting sleep and now I'm sitting here like, am I gonna be able to go to sleep? Because number one, me and this little girl, we can't sleep when it's dark and it's pitch black, pitch, pitch black. And number two, I got all that ice and the coolers. How long is that? And, and, and they can't tell me like when they texted, they have no, what's it called? They have no, um, time frame estimated time frame in which it will be fixed and i'm like well i need to stay up because if it's if it's not back in like an hour then i need to go ahead and transfer that food from the fridge into the cooler so i just may be up at two in the morning putting food from a fridge into a cooler this was not, and, and like, it's literally not even storming. So I don't know why the heck it just went out. This is, this is, this is getting a little old. It's getting a little old, I'm not gonna lie. It was cute the first time. Now it's not so cute. It's not so cute. Well, was it wasn't cute the first time. Oh, I thought it was cute the first time because I got to spend some, some quality time with y'all with no phones, no TV, no internet, no nothing. I loved it. Kind of. Until I realized that my food might spoil. I mean, could you imagine losing a whole... The way everything is priced right now, 
losing an entire fridge full of groceries? Mm -mm. No. I should probably take this blanket off right now, though, because... It's about to get hot again. Hey guys, so happy Friday. Um, well, yesterday was crazy, and then last night, this morning, with it going out again, <sighs> all that footage, it's okay. I got okay sleep last night, but um, it didn't stay out for, me. I think it was like maybe like 30, 40 minutes that it was out, but I wanted to make sure that I stayed up because if it had been an hour, I was gonna go and start taking this stuff out of the freezer, or out of the fridge, but. Everything's all good. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go get my hair cut. I'm about to have Contrell show what my hair looks like front and back. And I don't know about the curtain bangs. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have her wash it. I'm gonna do the whole thing because I have never experienced that. And I wanna treat myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it washed. I'm gonna have it styled, trimmed, cut. And then I want her to style it and I have something, I have like a curl that I am going to have her do. And I have a picture. So hopefully she can teach me how to get that kind of curl. And if the products that she uses holds the curl, then girl, we in business and I'm gonna be like, heck yeah. So that's the plan. Um, I'm probably gonna cut it to about, cause y'all this summer, it's like right now it's already, it's not even noon and it's already 95 degrees outside. Like it's not playing. So this, this is too much hair. It's too much hair. And I already know me, my hair grows very fast. So I think I'm gonna cut it like about like right here, which it's still long, but yeah. So anyways, let me show you front and back what it looks like. And then we are to the salon. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. This is what it looks like in the front and then in the back. So this is how long it is. And as you can see, there's like absolutely like no shape whatsoever. It's just kind of like blah, like there's no, not a whole lot of bounce or anything. So let's see what they do. So this is what I came, I'm coming home to. I asked for it here and somehow again, it ended up at my shoulders. I also asked for waves. I did not ask for curtain bangs, but she still gave them to me anyways. And this is, this is the $60 curls that I paid for and this is what I asked for okay so this was the this was my inspiration first of all okay for like the layers and keep the length basically this is what I showed her I wanted done to my hair does this look anything like what I just got does it look anything like it so yeah that was my haircut and that's why I didn't want to go get it done. So yeah, this is this this is this is what I got. This this is what I paid ninety eight dollars for. I've already cried for like ten minutes straight. And the reason why I didn't tell her that I didn't like it is because she was so proud of her work, and she was so proud of how it looked, and I didn't have the heart to tell her that I don't like it and that she cut my hair too short and I didn't ask for it this short. And I didn't ask for bangs. I asked for face, face framing layers. I mean, maybe that's what I got, I don't know. I did not ask for my curls to be curled towards my face. <clears throat> I'm gonna fix it now. And hopefully I can fix it in a way that I like. But it's just really hard to think about the fact that I just literally paid. What is that? Oh, that's the that's something on the thing on the display. Hold on, let me change it. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, it kills me right now to think that I just paid 
$60 for this curl. It's like this was a formal hairstyle. How is like, how are curls a formal hairstyle, number one? Like, I literally feel like I just, I think the worst part of it all is the fact that like, because my hair will grow back. I think it's the fact that I just spent a hundred freaking dollars hoping and expecting that I would come out there feeling good about myself and I don't even know what to say like I, I just I don't even know what to say like this is so like but like this is my hair and my hair is like the one thing that I have that I'm like it's pretty and now I hate it so this is why I didn't want to do it and I know again some people are gonna be like you're being so dramatic but like I guess ponytails it is for me anyways I mean I don't know like I said I can't I can't based the actual haircut based on how she styled my hair but I'm just upset because like I just paid $60 for these curls that I'm about to straighten and maybe try to curl myself I don't know I don't know. Maybe I'm just being dramatic. Maybe it's the the style um, and the way that she... I know it's the way that she curled it. I'm just hoping that I like my hair. Let's curl it the way that I would curl it and then I'll be back. But question to all of you hairstylists out there. How do I get a curl like this? Is this a every other like... Um, you know, like you're curling your hair. So like right here, you'd curl it away from your face. And then right here, you would curl it towards your face. Is that what this is? Because I want my hair to look like this. So how do I get my hair to look like this? Or how do I get my hair to look like that? Because that is beautiful too. So I'm going to try to fix this. See if I can help make myself feel better about this haircut. Because... $60, there's nothing I can do. I spent it, it is what it is. All right, so it definitely looks better and I'm trying not to be like as dramatic. I have since calmed down. I'm a little more accepting of it. I just, what I'm having an issue with right now is the fact that this is like flat right here and then this is like coming out and it's just like, what, what do I do with this? Because I don't think it looks good good because I don't know I just feel like it looks weird maybe I need to do a side part with my hair like this so yeah I'm just gonna work with it again this is the reason why I held off so long on getting it cut it's definitely way shorter than I want it to be I think it's gonna be fine it's whatever it's the summertime I honestly am probably gonna have my hair up 99% of the time anyways but I did curl it the way that I like it and I think for the most part, it looks good. I just, I do wish it was a little longer, but it's fine. It's fine. I've calmed down. I've, I do, I do, actually, I actually really do like it side part. <laughs> and all of you that keep saying, you know, you need to do a side part. Well, here you go. I just, I, I, I was forced to get a haircut that made me do a side part, at least with this, the way my hair is styled right now. So yeah, um, I think I'm pretty much at like an hour with this video. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I know I said I was going to do the Amazon with the Buffalo shirts. I'm not about to walk down there right now. And I need to go ahead and get this edited because it's just way too hot to walk down there. And I will do that first thing next week's vlog. But yeah, got my hair cut. Had a little romantic candlelit dinner with my kids last night. That was awesome. I actually really enjoyed that. Like, I'm not going to lie. 
I really did enjoy spending that time with them. We played board games. We played Uno. It was, I mean, it's not ideal. You don't ever want your power to go out, but you got to make the best of a situation, you know? So yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed having our little candle at dinner. It was, it was nice. And you know, we got our wine glasses out and we were all like drinking our sodas out of our wine glasses or our mantisizing life. I just, I loved it. So yeah, um, they're talking about boar storms tonight. So I'm like, please no, please no. But yeah, I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this week's vlog. So I hope that you guys are subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and do so. And also click that thumbs up button because it helps more than you guys will ever know. All right, love you guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys the next one. Bye.